Justin Brown, man. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout-out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on after the fight? Well, this your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on the Unified Welterweight World Champion, Earl the True Spence Jr., a.k.a. the Big Fish, a.k.a. Mr. Mad Down around this motherfucker, a.k.a. Big EJ, a.k.a. the pay-per-view. <laughs> Let me get you out. Nah, though, this one here is on EJ, man. He um came out with his hit list, bro. He came out with his hit list. And on his hit list, he had the man that he's about to face December the 5th, Danny Swift Garcia. He had the legend himself, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. And he had the three-division world champion and the current WBO world champion and arguably the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, all in a row. You understand? Earl came out and told us, you know, these are the three people that's on this hit list. And these are the three people that he's going after. You know, he said, fuck Keith Thurman. He living in the fantasy world. Before he get a fight, you know, he better come and do some amazing shit because he try to, you know, keep him out of the loop. You know what I mean? You know, it, all three try to keep him out of the loop with, with Danny, Sean, and Keith. But Keith, you know, being the number one guy, you know what I mean? He rubbed Earl the wrong way the most. Let's just say the most. But let's talk about this hit list EJ got out, bro. And I respect it. You know what I mean? I respect it. Danny Garcia was already in plans for January of, of um, this year, but we all know what happened with the, with the car crash and shit like that. So that's, that put EJ back and set him back. So he came back and took Danny Garcia right away, sticking to his blueprint. You know, everybody get pissed off because Terrence Bull Crawford is not next. And I'm saying he can't be next, but not next up on EJ hit list. He had Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, which nobody can get mad at. I'm going to repeat again. Nobody could get mad at because we all know if Pacquiao pick up that phone and call you, you better accept that fucking fight. And that goes for Earl, Danny, um, Bud, Thurman, Porter, Ugas. You understand? Even if you call the fucking Jerron Boots Ennis, anybody better accept that fight if Manny Pacquiao call you. You know? So EJ looked at Manny Pacquiao said he want Pacquiao who the current... Um, WBA Super Welterweight World Champion and holds one of the pieces to Undisputed and we all know EJ said he wouldn't be Undisputed. You know, that's his main goal at 147. You know, he want to get, um, he want to make history. You feel me? And, and, and make it history, you need that scrap for Manny Pacquiao. And not only that, you'll be beat an A Division World Champion. You know, one of the greatest of all times to ever lace him up. And Manny Pacquiao, you know, a future Hall of Famer. So that's going down in the history books. Nobody can deny that at all, you know? So if he can get that many Pacquiao fight, that'll be one hell of a fight. You know, I'm praying to get that fight because it do put us one step closer to Undisputed, assuming Earl get past Danny Garcia because anything can happen in boxing. But you know, I got Earl beating the shit out of Danny Garcia. But anything can happen, we just don't know, you know? You know, so that's why I said assuming to get past Danny Garcia. But if he can get the Manny Pacquiao fight, I'm going to praise that fight. I'm going to get Manny credit for stepping up to the plate and taking on, you know, the big fish and EJ. You know, the number one cat at 147 pounds and soon to be the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. I'm going to give him praises for that. You feel me? And after Manny comes the fight that everybody wants to see. You know, everybody want to got their opinions over this way where, oh, EJ's ducking Bud. He's trying to wait Bud out. He won't bud to get old when they both in their 30s and shit like that. After they done told you multiple times that he's not ducking, Bud came out said he's not ducking. His trainer, Bomack, came out said he's not ducking. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, can't tell these fans that he don't want to fight Bud. Why is he fighting Danny Garcia? Oh, well, if he can fight Danny Garcia, why is it that Bud cry? Like, man, all these damn excuses. Shut y'all ass up. Shut up. And understand that people do have blueprints and they do follow their own game plan. You can't knock a man for following their own game plan and their own blueprint. What the hell wrong with y'all? You feel me? But the Bud fight is a smart fight for EJ. For all, I mean, to wait to fight to fight last if he can get Danny Pacquiao, then Bud, because it would be for all the marbles. It's the fight everybody want to see, and it would be for all the marbles. And, and I'm not saying 
I don't want to see it next. If it happened next, look, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be happy as hell. You know what I'm saying? I want to see the fight. It is um, the biggest fight that we can make at 147 outside of Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? So I want to see the fight. But looking at his lineup and his hit list, you can't get pissed off at it. Because the number one thing is Bud is on the hit list and he's on the agenda. He's on the agenda. So for people that was talking about, oh, it's just like what he did to, to, to Keith Thurman. Now he's doing the same Keith Thurman did. No, the hell it's not. No, the hell it's not. Keith Thurman won't even speak EJ name and say he was going to fight him. You see what I'm saying? Won't even speak his name and say he was going to fight him. Errol Spence been telling y'all I'm not leaving until I knock off Bud Crawford. Until I got that scalp. You know what I'm saying? That head will be put up on the wall. EJ is not leaving without that scalp. So y'all boys can keep on, keep on talking that bull crap. But he's on the hit list. Bud Crawford is on the hit list. You feel me? And it's one hell of a fight. One hell of a fight. You did one hell of a fight. And I can't wait to see it. Because Bud got all the accolades, I mean all the tools in, in, in his toolbox to hang with EJ. That's a fact. Can't deny that. Hell of a fighter. Switch hitter. One of the best since Marvin Hagler. If not the best. You feel me? Hard puncher. Can fight going backwards. Can fight going forwards. Can fight going side to side. Can bang in the inside. Got defense. Good leg movement. Dude possess all the attributes. All the attributes. Got the heart. You know what I'm saying? Got the heart. But with that being said, EJ possesses everything as well. Everything as well. You feel me? Now he's a dog. That grit in him. That will to win. That will to win. You understand? It ain't gonna come down to the, it's not gonna come down to the size between Bud Crawford and Earl Spence. It's gonna come down to that willpower and that grit. And I do believe Earl Spence got more grit than Terrence Bud Crawford. I believe that. I believe that. And I feel like that's what's gonna push through and that's what's gonna win EJ that fight against Bud. With the body work. With the body work. But the grit and the will and the determination to not take no for an answer. You know, Bud got it in him as well. I'm not going to say Bud ain't got that in him. But I'm going to say EJ got more of it. You know what I'm saying? He got more of it. You know, both of these dudes been faced with adversity. They both been faced with adversity. You know what I mean? So it's not. It's going to take something different for one of them to pull this fucking fight out. And I think it's the grit. When, it's t when, when, when shit goes out the window and it's time to bite down and go, I think EJ got more of that in him. And I feel like that's going to overdo Terrence Bud Crawford in a hell of a fight. A hell of a fight. You know what I mean? They might hurt each other in the fight. But when it comes down to the end, I see EJ hand being raised just like it is now. You understand? Just like it is now. So to all y'all cats out there that keep talking about he's ducking, all you naysayers, we don't know if Earl the same anymore. He's been in a car accident. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Man, that shit been a whole year ago. A year or something. A year or some change to be exact. So stop playing with my G, man. Stop playing with gangsters. Get y'all facts right. And stop going off feelings and emotions. You know what I mean? Stop going off of feelings and emotions. You know? Speak on real common sense and logic. Now, will he have a little ring rust going into this fight against Danny? I believe he will. You know what I mean? Once that bell go ding ding and get into the real fire. We know the real fire is different as spawn. But after two or three rounds, EJ will be back. He will be back and he will start heating up. If he ain't already back in the first and second. You understand? This is just what I'm thinking. But he can go in that motherfucker and very well be ready. He already said he's sharp as a tax. You know what I mean? He's sharp as a tax. You know, so we will find out December the 5th. But this is Earl Spence's hit list, everyone. Danny Garcia, Manny Pacquiao, Terrence Bud Crawford. The man ain't running from no smoke. None whatsoever. Chasing the best. Daring to be great. You know? And in my eyes, the 
the man will succeed at whatever he do and whomever he chase after. Because he that damn good. He's that damn good. You know what I'm saying? If he was beating these boys not 100%, think how he going to be when he is 100%. I repeat, if he was beating these boys when he wasn't 100%, think how he gonna be when he is 100%. And I'm gonna leave it there. Shouts out to ESJ. Shouts out to Brian Custer for one hell of an interview. You understand what I'm, um, what I'm saying? And he's coming, dog. He's coming. You know? He's coming. And it ain't gonna be nothing to stop him. Until then, this your boy Monty. This the NSBC moving ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App, Trey After 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If you can't, tell a friend and tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share the video. And y'all know what it is. Big dog status.